What is up, beautiful people of YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So today, we're doing something a little bit different. Um, I actually have a Harley Davidson soft tail on my left. So, my shop here, it's a private shop. We're not open to the public. I don't work on other people's bikes. It's not something I tend to do. But this bike belongs to a guy that I go to church with, and his tires are totally bald. And the dealer told him that they couldn't get him in for anywhere from four to six weeks. So we're going to go ahead and rip these tires off and see if we can mount them up ourselves with the manual changer. Um, the one should be tubeless. I think the other we're going to have to take to the dealer uh, because A, I don't have a tube here for it. B, I don't like messing with tubes. So we're going to dive into this and get all this blown apart and we're going to share it all with you guys. So I'm going to stop jabbering, get you guys on the tripod, and let's get some work done. Alrighty, so we got the first one done. That one went pretty easy. Um, we're going to throw the sprocket back on, get that all locked tight, it, thrown it back on. And then we're going to get the front one. Well, I believe the front one has a tube in it. We're going to try to break it down real quick, see if it has a tube. I'm not going to mess with that. We'll take that up to the dealer. And then this one will go to the dealer to get uh, computer balanced. I've got a manual balancer here, but if we're already going to the dealer anyways, we'll just have them computer balance it. But that took us, what, Jake, 20, 20 minutes to take the tire off the bike and mount it? I, I don't understand why. I don't, this is one thing I've never understood about motorsports is this, like, bullcrap mentality that, like, we get to it when we get to it. Like, my background's automotive, and, like, if you came in today for a tire, unless we don't have a tire in stock, you are getting a tire today. There is no, oh, we'll get to it in six weeks. That is a ridiculous mindset, and I don't understand why anybody as a consumer puts up with it. But we're going to throw another jack under this so we can support the front. We're going to get that front wheel ripped off also. So let's get back at it.
side. Alrighty, so we just got back from the dealer. Uh, they balance the one and mount it the other, mount it and balance the other for us. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thrown on now. This is weird, I was gonna drop them off and pick them up tomorrow, but they said they couldn't get to anything for six weeks, yet they could do the tires right now. I don't understand motorcycle dealer logic. It is the dumbest industry I've ever seen. So, <laughs> throw you guys back on the tripod, get this wheel back on, and get this bike all buttoned up. So, let's get after it. Alrighty, so we got the back on and tension on the belt set. Um, I didn't look up the specification for the tension. What I did was when the belt came in, I measured the adjusters. And then when I was done, I just set the adjusters back to where they were when it came in. So since all I'm doing is tires, it should be all right. Set this up, throw the front on. This front wheel weighs nothing. All right, guys, so we got my buddy's bike all squared away. I'm going to run it back to him, and that's going to pretty much end this video. So a little bit of a short video, but this weekend, well, I guess the day you're seeing this, we're already back by, by then, but we're going to be at Fuel Cleveland. So if any of you were at Fuel Cleveland, I hope I got to meet you. Uh, but, again, it's going to wrap this video up. I'll see you all in the next one. I love each and every one of you. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up comment below. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And in the description box is links to all of our social media as well as our company website hotheadstalls.com where we make and sell everything for horses and there's a 5% off discount code. I will catch you guys in the next one and I'm out of here.